Hi everyone, so my name is Summer and basically I'm uh, just doing a video today about how to create a really, or in my opinion, a really good sounding clean sound by using the Line 6 Helix. Now this is going to involve just a couple of things that might not be a go-to for a lot of people, but um, it is basically like the title will suggest, like how to create a clean sound using a fuzz pedal. Um, it is basically I'm using the um, Helix Stomp to create a clean sound with a fuzz pedal. It sounds odd, I know it does, but I was actually inspired from a video by um, Chris Buck. Uh, you, you've got, you must have heard of Chris Buck. He's an amazing guitarist, but actually one of his videos where he's recreating a tone for a song he just kind of showed how to um, use a fuzz pedal to create a clean sound. Now, as you probably heard in the intro video, right, I, I played just a few chords uh, blasting out just to make you hear what, what I was going for, and then I switched over to a clean sound. Now that clean sound, um, well, the, 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 first of all, it was just a fuzz pedal going through an AC30 emulation on the Line 6 Helix, okay, and, um, it was just full on, as you probably could have heard. It, you could have you heard it's just full on, sort of like fuzz goodness, okay. And then I switched over to a clean sound. Now that clean sound is basically utilizing a fuzz in front of the AC30, okay. Now here's what it sounds like without playing with anything. <laughs> So these are full on, like, um, on the fuzz pedals, I will share my settings at the end of the video, I'll put a screen grab on there, but I've basically put, put the, um, what should be the, the fuzz face um, pedal in the Line 6 Helix, okay, and I've maxed out all the settings, so everything's on 9 out of 10, and then I put it through an AC30. It's actually got a little bit of drive on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the fuzz so you can hear the AC30 on its own. So I'm just going to remove that fuzz pedal. Okay. reverb and I'm using a Celestian um, IR as well okay so here's a little bit of uh, um, right so here's what the AC30 would sound like um, sort of like a bridge pickup and neck pickup will hear like, like it just sounds really AC30 so like that woody what I would call like a really nice woody amp okay now here's what it will sound like and it's, you can hear it's a little bit driven as well and if you clean up your playing a little bit with your plectrum or your fingers it cleans up quite nicely. It does what, you know, what a sort of a crunched um, clean up would, would, would do if you wanted to do, okay? So nice, clear, what, do you, what, what you want an AC30 to sound like. Okay, so I'm going to be running the Arbiter Fuzz from Line 6, okay, 
through this driven um, AC30 sound. Now don't worry too much about your settings. And the main thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that it's the actual drive of the pedal, the gain of the amp, sorry, the gain of the amp is gained enough for you uh, where you would like it to be. So this is where I would like it. If it was an AC30 amp, this is where I would like it. For me anyways, I think that's a really good sound. So it just picks up anything that I want to pick up. And here's what it would sound like if I put the fuss pedal. So this is what we're after, like fussed up sound through an AC30, you know, if you like all those classic sort of um, sounds like blues sounds and all of that kind of thing, you can't really go wrong with a fuss pedal in front of an AC30. So, yeah, that full on sound, so this is what it would sound like with the uh, bridge pickup. Up sound that I, I kind of like, yeah, I, well, not kind of like, but I really like. And this is what it sounds like in the middle. And I've actually got a um, like a single coil setting on my bridge pickup alone. Okay, so as you can see, it's out of control, it's everything that you would want a fuzz into an amp to sound like. Okay, so what I've actually done, so after I watched that really cool video by Chris Buck, and he was talking about rolling off your guitar, okay, rolling off the volume of your guitar, to clean up the sound, going into the fuzz, then into the amp, okay? And what you, you sort of like reducing the input from your guitar going into the pedal. So obviously what you would create is a really nice clean sound, okay? Um, it all depends what kind of pedal that you use, what kind of pedals you use, and all those, like the pickups and all those kinds of things, but you can actually clean up really nicely. So it got me thinking, how can you use this in a helix sort of a setting to create a first, so from one, in one setting, so in one uh, patch or one preset, how you can create a, uh, keep the AC30 going like full on sounding with the first through the amp, okay, through the overdriven amp, but you can actually add something to the first pedal which will clean it up and you can create your own clean sound without sort of sacrificing um, sort of like the input from the guitar sort of thing. Obviously, it all depends on your pedals and all those kinds of things. And then what I did, I basically added a volume or a gain um, preset on there, a gain block. And that gain block is actually reducing the amount of gain that's going in, okay? Now, the gain reduction, I think I'm going to like minus 52 dB or minus 50 dB, something like that, okay? And this is what we get. 
a really nice clean sound. Now the settings on the actual um, stomp haven't changed. Like the fuzz is still full on, the amp is still full on and overdriven, but what's actually happening is that we've got a gain reduction. Okay. So it sounds like through the bridge pickup. Still a little bit overdriven on the neck pickup. And then in the middle, this is what it will sound like. a little bit of delay guys and girls guys girls everyone so this is what it will sound like I go through the neck pickup Especially on the neck pickup itself, okay, this sounds like a really nice clean sound. And without the gain reduction knob. So this is the first way, or this is one way of getting like a, a cleaned up sound from a fuzz into an amp. There's another way of doing it. So the other way of doing it, okay, um, obviously you can go between your single call and your homebook if you go a single call split, but one way of actually doing it is by reducing the volume going into, uh, sorry, reducing the volume from your guitar. Okay, so I've got the volume all the way down. If I increase it a little bit. You could do the same thing on the neck pickup as well. For me personally, because the neck pickup is so powerful, so this is a high output P90. Uh, it's still kind of overdriven a little bit, but it sounds nice if you use it. So if you use your fingers, for example, in playing. A little bit of you could, well, not a little bit, you could get a lot of articulation still just without going through just the clean sound on its own. Okay, same thing with the net with the uh, bridge pickup on a on Humber. Just remember that sometimes with your pickups, okay, it doesn't matter how expensive your pickups are, okay, or how cheap they are, um, a lot of the time you'll find that you might lose just a little, like your top end, okay, 
And as you can see, for when I roll my volume down on here, Guitar. It's really easy, okay? You can always get a guitar um, tech to do it for you, but it, all it is is just a um, capacitor or a dial that you put inside of your guitar, like on your, vol on your volume knob, and it basically just stops um, your pickups from losing the high end when you roll the volume off a little bit. differences okay between um, the, like, so like in terms of um, how full it sounds okay the clean sound when you engage your gain reduction um, on your stomp okay line 6 stomp or if you use your knob okay your guitar knob your volume knob on your guitar not your knob but the, the guitar knob okay so if I've got so if I engage my gain reduction, so this is what the clean sound, if I just play it like, like So this is what it sounds like with the gain reduction. And if I just change the line a little bit and just find a happy medium. So to me, with the treble bleed mod and with the volume control, by controlling the volume on my guitar, to me it just sounds a little bit fuller, okay? It just sounds a little bit more where I would like a clean sound to be, or a sort of slightly hairy clean sound to be, okay? Now the other thing that I always um, will sort of tell people to um, find is try and find a good humbucker that's got a really good single coil split on it, okay? So I'm going to try and find a happy medium. I'm going to play for you that, like the same chord that I've just played, with a single chord setting on these humbuckers, on this hum particular humbucker that I've got, um, and just. So for a sort of like single chord split on a humbucker, this sounds quite still quite. It's still nice sound, it still sounds nice, it still sounds full, you've got all the dynamics sort of thing. Single coil, as well as controlling the volume on my guitar with a single coil split still gives us a, a Now this is actually my favorite setting on there. So single coil volume up almost all the way down, fuzz full on, and overdriven. Okay. And it gives like this really nice clean sound. And obviously with a single coil this is what it sounds like. Thank 
So this is practically it, like it's just a really pointless job, I'll say it's a pointless job, I want to say pointless, but you know, it's got its reputation and all that. So yeah, so this is sort of like um, how to get a nice clean sound by using a fuzz pedal, okay, through a overdriven amp and how to control, okay, the clean sound with your guitar knob or by using a gain reduction um, switch, okay, a uh, gain, gain reduction block on your um, Helix stomp, okay. So just to, um, just to quickly iterate something, okay, so these videos aren't sponsored, okay, so it's something I have to tell on YouTube, but it's on YouTube apparently. So these videos are not sponsored by anybody, um, they're only sponsored by my hungry cats, um, okay, and um, I'm recording everything on my um, HX HX stomp okay so that everything that you're hearing is guitar all the way through the HX stomp which is we're currently using as a audio interface okay and I am currently using the AC30 amp setting which is the AC horn and I'm going through a Celestian um, IR which is actually the Senzo okay Celestian IR um, this is a free one that you can download from the Celestian website. Okay, again, I'm not sponsored by them, but it's actually one of my favorite IRs, um, or in impulse responses, I don't know what that is. It's one of my favorite impulse responses um, for a cabinet for any clean sound that I've got, okay? And sound that I've got in my, um, uh, that is on my album that's coming out, okay? So, um, just to quickly tell you what that is, so, so, um, my name is Sana. Um, if you've got two seconds, if you don't mind just hitting that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen, so it's going to be like what the there, just hit the subscribe button. Um, don't forget, guys. Uh, my new my, my album is coming out uh, sort of like towards the end of this year now and um, I've already got a single out on all the usual platforms that you've got on this you can find it on Spectre Plus and my single is called it's not the official single but it's um, a song off the album called The Fragile okay and um, I've got a, like a free merch that you can buy from me on there as well if you wanted to and I've got um, sort of like uh, find me on Facebook on Instagram um, and all the kind of other usual places that you've got on there, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, any questions you've got in the comments below, guys, I'm more than happy to answer any question that you've got. And um, yeah, guys, so we'll see you at the next video.